Right. And then uh, this is we got here. Oh yeah, and the graph and all you cheap. Good please, please. And the monthly stats are we're prepared in time for tonight's meeting. Uh, however, I do want to uh, uh, something I mentioned to you at the last meeting about an officer's memorial uh, monument in the building here. And the previous chief of police, uh, Carl Masula, who's here, uh, I've asked him to come in and kind of give you a brief talk. I'm going to give you some pictures of the ones that we took. Uh, we both went up to Hubbard. As you know, uh, we've lost two officers in the line of duty. And other than the, the one plaque that's up front, we never really had anything for the other officer. So when we, we were discussing this, we went to Hubbard. Hubbard uh, had their whole community, their church community, do all the fundraising, and they, they did this all on their own. Um, prior to getting your approval, I wanted to see where we would stand with this. And um, again, with me and Carl, we went to Hubbard. They spent about $4,000. I in turn called a local friend of mine that's in the funeral business and he in turn called one of his suppliers. The, the black granite stone is one of the most expensive um, and it sounds like between the two of them I can get most of it donated towards this project because it is a community thing. For the community to see you know, and recognize the officers that have fallen that work for Poland Township. So I'm going to have them come up and give you a little brief discussion about it and I'm going to give you the pictures that we took about what Hubbard is so you can have an idea of what we're looking at. If you were to approve it, we would consider a spot right near the door here, somewhere where the electric would be and power to have a spotlight put on it at night. Um, so that's for down the road discussion, but I want him to at least give you a little brief on everything. So let's Chief Carl Masulo from uh, a little while ago, huh? It's been a while. I might stand on this side of that structure and back there. So anyway, um, uh, Chief Good and I have been working on this project. We, we feel like we have a, a mutual uh, goal in trying to bring it to fruition. So in order to understand uh, what drives the project, uh, I think it's important to understand the history of the department. So, um, January 1, 1978, under the leadership of Lee Good, um, Chief Good's dad. He was our founding father, uh, and that's when the department was uh, formed and started to provide services to Poland Township. Back in the day, uh, I was part of that initial launch. Jim Charvelli was part of the initial launch. We had a handful of officers, two cruisers, that worked out of the Kwanzaa House on Clean Road. But Lee uh, Gooden did a great job in, in getting this ball rolling for Poland Township. And uh, over the years that uh, have evolved, 38 years since the department was launched, um, the elected officials have been fantastic in supporting law enforcement. We've been able to add officers. Uh, we've upgraded equipment, and in um, 1977, uh, we were successful in um, getting uh, new construction for the law enforcement agency and the administration building here. So uh, they've come a long way. Uh, there's a lot more work to be done, but it's important to note that um, uh, Brian Gooden, uh, has, I think, the same goals as most every chief that served um, prior to his tenure. Uh, I guess our goal is to uh, hire the best personnel, uh, give them the proper equipment and training, and send them out in the community to protect and serve, uh, with the ultimate goal of them being able to return home and their families at night safe and sound. Unfortunately, it didn't always work out that way. We had some officers injured over the years, and two officers have died in line of duty. Uh, 1983, Richard Becker was killed. He was murdered behind a bar on State Route 170, never had a chance. And in 1984, uh, Charlie Yates suffered heart attack as a result of a combative arrest sequence. When this building was constructed in 1997, we wanted to do something to commemorate the sacrifice of those two officers, but quite frankly, it just wasn't in the budget and, and we couldn't get it done. So fortunately, Brian and I have come together here and we have a plan and um, we'd like to, 
to uh, move forward with it. But we can't do that without um, the support of the elected officials and the community and the officers that serve. So um, that's sort of what is driving the project. The ultimate goal of our project is to, again, commemorate the lives of the two officers who have fallen. We want to recognize the uh, contributions of the officers who are currently employed here, those who have been employed, and those who will be employed into the future. And last but not least, we want it to be a place where members of the community can come and reflect on the sacrifice that was made and um, the work that um, the officers do here on a daily basis. It was um, my um, pleasure and uh, certainly an honor to serve as chief here um, for 12 years. And um, I stand back and watch every, everything good that goes on now and uh, credit to the elected officials for their continued support of law enforcement. And that concludes my presentation. Uh, Any questions? Yes. Um, did you get a total price for this? No. Quite frankly, uh, Mr. Wall, we, we are in the initial stages of the project. Uh, um, uh, Chief Gooden and I have prepared a, uh, we have a feasibility study. We, we know what we think we want to do, but we need some support, and uh, we certainly welcome input uh, from the board. We would like to have your input, yeah. and we would like to have some direction from the board. And the officers that serve here, we would like some input from them as well. So that's sort of where we're at. We're on the ground level with them. Can you like compose a letter so that if, you know, whether it's members of the community, you know, residents, whomever, you know, our local groups would like to contribute to this fund? I mean, is it, you know, are you, you know, that they're able to do that, you know, whether, you know, could we get a letter composed to get out there? Is that how we're going to proceed? I well, mean, I think it's a great idea. Well, it's we wanted the board to, to, um, to hear the presentation and sort of step back and give some thought to it and then maybe get back to the chief and then we can go from there. I can promise you one thing. I, it won't be as big as the police building. <laughs> Chief, don't worry. I, but I'm just speaking for myself. You, you worry. So, yeah. I mean, you just, you guys get it wrong. And, I mean, me personally, I'll be as supportive as I humanly can. And, you know, I'm, that's all I can say. I'm, again, I'm just speaking as, as one, you know, elected official. So, like, this building is the first time, like, when people come into the community and whether they have to go get a zoning permit, like, this building is the first, sometimes the focal point of your community. So, if we can like paint, fix up the landscaping, and put a big flower pot and do all this, that would even be nicer. I mean, just to totally fix up this building, and, and a lot in addition to the, you know, monuments to our officers. I mean, what, what a welcome addition. Well, thank you for your time. I think everything that you guys just said here was apropos, and Brian and I talked a little bit about this today, and I like the direction in which my colleagues have taken this because uh, one of the things we talked about was the overall appearance of, of the building, and I think, you know, let's, let's just take our time, let's do this thing the right way, and maybe as we come towards the spring, as we look towards some, maybe some landscaping, and we can, you know, bring this all in, in, in together. Uh, with something of this nature, um, obviously we're going to do something different. We don't want to be a copycat or anything like that. So, and you know, the person that you talked to in the funeral business, I don't know if he wants his name given out, but uh, that's another Poland resident. So, uh, and, and you know, as far as any kind of fun, Carl knows as well as Brian that you know, if in fact we got to do something like that, we got to set something up separately. Uh, so, to Eric, to echo Eric, all in. Let's just make sure that we go through the proper procedures, see what we can do, and uh, you know, hopefully, come next spring, we have something to, uh, you know, commemorate those officers who have served, who continue to serve, and who will serve, uh, as well as do, you know, a nice job on on the township building itself. So, I, I think this is a very good idea. Uh, Brian, Carl, thank you both for bringing this to us.